to a hopper y'all we're gonna be helping prime out this week that is a hopper trailer right there what i still love about it is it's 48 foot long just like the tanker but without the surge all right guys we are hooked to the hopper we're gonna be getting loaded first time brand new trailer what can happen When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. All right, so you guys, it's cold. I am uh, heading up here to the uh, Springfield uh, terminal. I gotta grab the 2024 IFTA stickers for my truck. Whew, I just went up to my truck and stocked it up. It's been a minute since I uh, put out a video, so I just wanna let everyone know everything's all good with me and Prime and all that good stuff. We got Mike upgraded in 12 days. I uh, decided to help Prime out. Uh, I guess there's a list of like 15, 15 drivers waiting for a tanker trainer, so I told my dispatcher that I would go ahead and take another student, so. Ah, uh, whoo, it is cold. Yo, this is not the, uh, this is not the proper attire for 22 degrees right now. So this is inbound, outbound. I just grabbed the IFTA stickers 2024 for my truck. And this time, instead of being an idiot and keep lining up the stickers all in a row, I'm going to start covering up the old stickers. So that way there's only one IFTA sticker. Every year, I'll just place the new year over the old year rather than put a whole line of them across the whole side of the truck like an idiot so uh anywho again it's cold i will be i still will be making more content everybody so just hang tight uh you know thank you guys for your patience uh again i took another student tracy cool dude this guy's already been driving for 15 years prime did have him as an ac uh and he wasn't gonna have to do any training but for some reason prime changed him to a b2 seat so he had to do 20,000 miles with a reefer guy and now he's got to do his last three weeks with me so uh what's tomorrow tomorrow's tuesday tomorrow's tuesday as of tomorrow he'll be with me for a week so hopefully we can get him upgraded early too because this guy already knows knows how to drive i just got to teach him the paperwork side and then hopefully we can get a couple loads where we got to pump off so uh because that's actually you know good information to know before you start the upgrade process Good. 
I think it's coming to, coming to the end on this section. Then we still gotta do the back side. But we got the first one open and we're getting unloaded. And this side should be done here soon. Hey guys, we're gonna crack open this next one. Go ahead. There we go, nice. You like that. So this was right, that was left? Yeah. Okay, okay. There we go, look at that. Science. Bro, we got the first, uh, just finished up the first load. We are headed back to the same shipper. So we're basically going to the same shipper and the same receiver five times to help prime out. First time, not too bad. Now that we know where we're getting loaded and where we unload, uh, be a little bit more efficient this run. It's a little rainy, but the, the trailer looks good. Make sure this, uh, this handle, see this handle right here, Cranks the landing gear up and down. And also, that handle is used to open up the bottom hatch where all the stuff, the product comes out. So yeah, the handle puts the landing gear up and down and it opens these sliders down here where all the product comes out. And then uh, these right here, when you open this up, basically vibrates everything inside of the hopper to get all that dust and powder you know whatever you're delivering bone mill feather mill all that good stuff now i gotta go in this loves and use a bathroom Whee! Whee! i know it's been a minute since i put out a video i've been super super busy guys i'm worn out i think the last four weeks uh between me and my trainees that i've been training i've drove a little over twenty thousand miles i'm telling you right now i am beat i am worn out so yeah we've been running and running and running i know a lot of people are gonna have questions about this hopper stuff um throughout my next videos i'll get into more detail kind of basically how that went i just did it to basically help prime out you know help my dispatcher out but i'm gonna be sticking it I'm gonna be going back to an edible tanker. Oh, well, I think I might have to get some new windshield wiper blades. Oh, uh, <coughs> I broke the head strap. I broke the head strap on my GoPro, so I had to get a new head strap. I guess I came out with a new one, head strap 2.0. But actually, we are headed over to my truck because I dropped off I dropped off my student, uh, Tracy. Shout out if you're watching this. What's up, buddy? I just dropped him off for his upgrade process. So he got his, uh, his hotel room for the week so he can do his start his upgrade process. Uh, come Monday uh, over at the campus in so after I took him over there or showed him where to go basically uh, I went back to my truck got all my things except I forgot to get the sheet off of my bed so I'm gonna head over back over to my truck and it is freezing and some snow came through yesterday it's supposed to be down to one degrees tomorrow is supposed to snow with a negative five the next day negative one and then negative four and then five degrees for the lows it's gonna be getting cold we gotta head over to my truck so I could grab the sheet so I could do laundry. And I was gonna clean out my truck, but not when it's one degree. I'm not cleaning the inside of my truck out, but I do need to wash my bedding and stuff. So let's hit it. After I go get this uh, the sheet out of my truck, I'm gonna make sure that my, uh, my APU and everything's working on my truck, because it's basically gonna be freezing the next few weeks uh, before it warms up. So just wanna make sure everything on my truck is working. And then after that, I gotta run up to Walmart. It's in my brakes, my brakes are squeaking. Speaking of my brakes, uh, my brakes squeaking, uh, they're fine. I, I did check those actually, but I'm thinking, why are they squeaking? But anyway, speaking of brakes, uh, I actually had to take my uh, Lincoln into the shop again because it started hesitating again. 
uh, and kind of bogging down and the, and the engine light started flashing. So I took it back to the, the Rick's Automotive down here in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, they always treat me right. But anyways, uh, the number, I think it was the number four, number six cylinder wasn't front, uh, frying, wasn't uh, firing properly. Uh, it was the coils. So instead of uh, my engine, these, these uh, Lincoln engines having a, uh, a distributor cap with spark plug wires, it has individual coil packs on each individual spark plug. So uh, I went ahead and had them, they, they said, do you want to just replace the two? I said, go ahead and replace all of them. So they replaced all those and then the Lincoln's running like a champ. I'm now getting 21.6 miles per gallon in this V8. That's not bad at all. Plus I don't really, I don't really be bogging down. I don't really be smashing on this, uh, on my Lincoln. I just drive it, you know, just cruising around. I, this is just to get me from A and B. I want to keep it running because I like having no car payment. Uh, and then after we go to my truck, uh, I got to go to Walmart, grab a few things. I need to get some coffee creamer because I can have some coffee. But another thing is I have not had a monster in four days. I'm going to try to kick the monsters. It's been kind of tough, but yeah, I haven't had a monster in four days. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that because I'm usually banging about three of those back a day, which I know is not good. I know y'all say that in the comments. That's so not good for your health, Rex. You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, and uh, then after that, I got to go to, uh, there's this place called Taste uh, Taste Donuts down in Ozarks that my uh, my boy Mark my boy Mark found. He told me to check them out. And uh, shout out, Mark. What up? And uh, so, I'm gonna go over there and get some stuff, uh, and then go home and have some coffee, uh, coffee and donuts. And these people are flying, man. The road conditions are not that great. All right, we are pulling up to the take wash. Whew. Yeah. So yeah, we dropped the uh, me and Tracy. That was my last trainee that I was training. Um, we dropped off the hopper bottom trailer here at the the take wash here in Springfield, so that way they could wash it. All right, where's my badge? Uh, here we go. We got a swipe. A hey, swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. All right, it's gonna open. All right, look at that. Now we just gotta get over to my truck. It is cold, y'all. It is cold. I think I might have to get some new windshield wiper blades for my car too. Oh yeah, it's cold out here. There we go. Oh, hey, let me sh let me show y'all real quick what I was talking about with what the shop did. I just popped my hood real quick. Uh, why is bright? It is bright, bright, bright. Uh, there we go. Let's get this bad boy open here. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if we can be able to see it here, guys. And I think I'm probably gonna need to get a new battery soon because I got a cheapy one about two years ago whenever uh, we came from phoenix arizona to springfield missouri all right so what the shop replaced was uh these individual coil packs uh since it's an eight cylinder engine they replaced all of them there's one back there one two three and number four and then also on the other side as well so yeah it's kind of hard to see on this side because i got the intake uh, filter housing in the way but but yeah ever since uh well shoot can you even see me Ever since uh, they replaced that on the engine, uh, when did they do that? It was about a week week or two ago, I think. Uh, Lincoln's running good, man. Running real, real, real good. Uh, yeah, I've been getting hella. I've been getting bad fuel mileage. Uh, so now it's running good. Oh, I gotta shut my uh, I gotta shut my car off. So that way, cause I got my I got the key to my Freightliner here on my key ring. So let me go in here. Gotta grab my. I gotta grab my sheet, which I forgot. Is this APU still running good in here? It is freezing, y'all. Y'all gotta excuse my mess here. I got my GoPro. It's uh, I got it just sitting on my Volta. Uh, yeah, I just needed to grab my sheet real quick, guys. And there we go. Oh, oh man, what a. Man, it's been a busy, uh, busy month, you guys. Busy month. Oh, I'll take my beanie, my other beanie, and wash it. I always wash my beanies, keep them nice and fresh. Don't want them smell, uh, smelling too manly. Oh, and I had to buy some more uh, fueling gloves because 
my fueling gloves that I had ended up being uh, gloves for for uh, unloading. I need to clean the inside of my truck out. It is uh, it is disgusting. Okay, well, everything in here feels uh, feels pretty good. So APU and everything is working. All right, we'll go ahead and lock her up, man. We're gonna get up out of here. Next stop is gonna be Walmart. Next stop is the Walmart. All right, let's roll. Zozo, you trying to get a snack? What are you trying to do, girl? What? Okay, girl. What are you doing? Oh, snap, what are you doing, girl? Hey, guys, don't forget to check out my merch that I just set up. All you gotta do is click below this video, click on one of those items, and check out my store. Thanks for watching.